Okay. And on it, it's fried? Okay. Two. One of the main things on a buffet is to have a very good variety. This section can provide you with that. We have six vegetables in this area. I like to keep one fried product out here if it's good for your region. We have selected things that give us good color and are very cost effective for our customer. All are very palatable items. We also added another chicken reuse item. This is a stir fry recipe. Very economical, uh, very hard to keep out here because the customers love it. So it's, it's a very good item that will help reduce your piece count. Behind that we have uh, livers, which work well in a lot of areas. We have barbecued chicken wings. So we've transitioned through the cold bar. We've pretty well filled up some plates. We've come to our hot bar. We put potatoes, gravy, vegetables. We put a chicken item. We've got bread. We've already got six vegetables to eat. Now we have another chicken item. Now we have livers and chicken wings. We have no place on our, on our plate to put other products. So that is the whole concept, is to fill the plate with the more cost-effective items before the customer reaches the chicken. As I said earlier, we eat with our eyes. So let's see where we're at now. We went through the cold bar. We've had some good, bright, colored items. We've had a dessert. We've had salad. So our plate's starting to get pretty full. Now we move into the hot bar. We've got potatoes, gravy. We've got two vegetables. Now we have a chicken item. Now we have bread. Oh gosh, now we've got six vegetables. Now we have another chicken item plus livers, plus barbecue wings. Our plates are full. Now we're going to the chicken section, and we really have no place to put that. So by the time we get to put chicken on our plate, we really have no room for it. Uh, chicken is the highest cost item on the buffet, so this automatically starts reducing your overall product cost and your piece per uh, consumption per customer. Okay, let's see the chicken okay. section. Take one. We're at our chicken section now. We have very little room left on our plates to put chicken. After that, we have two hot desserts. And what we have done, we've taken a cobbler, which I feel you should always sell a good cobbler. It's been a mainstay of the buffet program. We've put it in the back. It's a little more costly than the, uh, some of these other items. So we put it in the back, and we, and we put a, a good bread pudding with fruit filling in it. Uh, we have a rice pudding that's very good, and we'll, we'll have all those available for you. So I think right now we should all go contact our franchise operations managers, get our buffet program in place, and let's fulfill our customer promise for 1994. Chicken. Okay, this is the end. Take two. Now we're at our hot dessert area. Okay. Now we come to our hot desserts. We've got a nice apple cobbler and a bread pudding with fruit filling. We place a cobbler in the back because it's a little more costly than the bread pudding. But these are two good hot items that people really love. And we have several hot items now that we can put on our buffet bar. So what we should do now, we should all go call our franchise managers, get our satisfaction program in place, get our buffet manuals, and dig into this thing and get it fixed. And let's all go out and deliver our customer promise for 1994. Is that all right? Say yeah.